In this pod, we'll investigate the resistance of wire and combinations of resistors in series and parallel. First, let's revise what we mean by electrical resistance. Resistance is the opposition to the flow of electric current. The greater the resistance in a circuit, the smaller the current for a given potential difference across the circuit. Resistance is measured in ohms, which uses the symbol of a capital Greek omega. The formula to calculate resistance is resistance equals potential difference in volts divided by current in amps. In symbols, this is R equals V divided by I. In the first part of this pod, we'll investigate how the resistance of wire varies with the length of wire at constant temperature. You'll need to set up a circuit containing a DC power supply, the wire being tested, a couple of crocodile clips, an ammeter, and a voltmeter. You also need a wooden meter rule, which goes underneath the wire being tested. Connect the power supply, the ammeter, and the wire you are testing in series. The wire should be mounted on the meter rule and connected in the circuit using crocodile clips. The first crocodile clip should be attached to the wire at zero centimetres on the meter rule. The second crocodile clip can be connected to the wire at different lengths. The voltmeter should be added in parallel with the wire being tested. First, adjust the clips so that 20 centimetres of the wire is in the circuit. Set the power supply to a low potential difference, such as 4 volts. Switch the power supply on and check that the wire is not getting too hot. Be careful not to touch the wire, just check it is glowing hot. If it is getting too hot, lower the potential difference. It's important the wire doesn't get too hot for safety reasons and because changing the wire's temperature affects its resistance. Now take readings of the potential difference across the wire from a voltmeter and the current through the wire from the ammeter. Put your results in the first row of a results table. The results table needs four columns. Length of wire in centimetres, potential difference in volts, current in amps, and the resistance of the wire in ohms. Increase the length of wire between the crocodile clips by 10 centimetres at a time up to 80 centimetres. Each time, take readings of potential difference and current. Put your results into the table. If the current starts to get too small to measure, you can increase the potential difference of the power supply. For each set of results, you can calculate the resistance of the wire. You use the formula resistance equals potential difference divided by current. Put the resistance values into the last column of the table. Now, use the results to plot a graph of resistance against the length of wire. You can also draw a line of best fit. You'll find that the graph slopes upwards, which tells us that the longer the wire, the higher its resistance. You should find that the graph is a straight line that passes through the origin. This tells us that resistance of a wire at constant temperature is directly proportional to the length of wire. Now let's investigate the resistance of combinations of resistors in series and parallel. You'll need two fixed resistors of, say, 20 ohms each. Set up a circuit with one 20 ohm resistor in it. Place an ammeter in series with the power supply and the resistor. Place a voltmeter in parallel with the resistor. Set the power supply to 4 volts and switch it on. Take a reading of potential difference from the voltmeter and a reading of current from the ammeter. After taking your readings, turn off the power pack so the resistor does not get hot. Use the formula resistance equals potential difference divided by current to calculate the resistance of the resistor. It should equal 20 ohms. Let's look at resistors in a series. Add a second resistor in series with the first. Note that the voltmeter is connected in parallel across both of the resistors. Take new readings of current and voltage and calculate the resistance of the resistors. You should find that the total resistance is 40 ohms. This is because the total resistance of resistors in series is equal to the sum of the individual resistances. R total equals R1 plus R2. We can conclude that adding resistors in series 
increases the total resistance. Now we'll look at resistors in parallel. Make a circuit with two 20 ohm resistors in parallel with each other. The voltmeter is added in parallel too, and the ammeter is in series as usual. Take readings of current and voltage and calculate the total resistance of the two resistors. You should find that the total resistance is 10 ohms. The rule for resistors in parallel is that the total resistance is always equal to a value smaller than the smallest individual resistor. Here the smallest resistor in parallel is 20 ohms, so the total resistance of the two resistors must be less than this. In this case, it is 10 ohms. We consequently find that adding resistors in parallel decreases the total resistance. You can make more circuits with combinations of resistors in series and parallel. You could predict what you think the resistance will be using the rules we've learnt. You can then take measurements of potential difference and current and calculate resistance to see if you are correct.